Well, howdy, and welcome to another video of Making the Game Songbringer. This is the voice of Wizard Foo. Let's jump right into what I'm doing. Working on bugs. Well, yeah, mostly bugs. Related to um, all the new features and stuff in this update. Um, right now, I'm working on the hyper boots. They used to be able to hit stuff, so you would leave behind these little lightning mines, and if enemies came near the mines, they would get hit with lightning. Uh, but those little li lightning mines would also damage nearby entities. So if you walked near a wall or a sconce or like a pillar or anything that could be damaged, it would just be damaged by this tiny little lightning mine sitting there. And that's uh, that was not desirable. So what I'm working on now is a fix for that where I've actually changed the category from shot friend to just friend. And that makes it so all these normal entities aren't colliding with it. I've also given it this flag untargetable so that um, I'm, um, when the AI system, like an enemy, for example, targets the nearest friend entity, um, it will always ignore this because it has the untargetable flag. So I'm just verifying that right now. I've set a breakpoint here um, where it's this is the behavior um, target nearest blah. So like target nearest friend, for example. And I'm trying to catch the exact situation where it would have some lightning mines on the screen and an AI is looking to target the nearest friend. So that would mean that the potential size of Eids is greater than two, meaning there's you know more than just Jib and, and Rock. Oh, I just forgot they don't even have Jib. Let's put Jib in here. Let's make sure that's it's gonna work as I was intending it to. Okay, and um, yeah, we should be able to hit that breakpoint And um, this should kick in only when we have lightning mines on the screen. And Jib should not have his shield. immediately how many potentials do we have 13 there's 13 possible entities that have friend what are we trying to target here friend or foe oh this is you know what we only want to target friend That was something, I think that was the flies. The flies can target either friends or foes and bug them, buzz around their heads. So we got potential Eids, 14, dang, what, oh, there must be a lot of lightning mines, yeah? Okay, let's see what this does when we're doing this erase if, if not AI system is alive and active. Okay. All right. First one. What it is this? Is here. Let's just set a breakpoint here. I want to go through all that again. All right. So there's one. There's Jib. Next, we got. This should be the lightning print. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not sure how to tell. No health. 
This might be a lightning print. Hopefully it is. Or we could probably see the collision. Oh, this is going to have no collision, probably. Or it does have a collision. Oh, yeah, this is, this might be it. There's shot, or that's friend, and lightning, hopefully. And it doesn't even have a health component, so it's not even getting into this check. But, so it doesn't have a health component, and it also has the untargetable flag. So every one of these will get removed from this um, potential list. And now we should have a potential list of just two good just one and three, perfect. That's ex that's happening as I was expecting. So I believe this is now a safe bet. Safe change. Let me um, confirm everything. First of all, I'll just take a look at what changed. Oh, it's just lightning print. I need to add a comment here. So let's just make sure that it works as intended still. So I was calling apply elements then schedule once. It crashed. Hmm, must be this, because we we did have lightning there. Schedule lightning. I think I press pause. I press pause like right then. Oh, you know what? Why is this using game scene layer? So basically, what this is. I think I may have just found a flaw I've never encountered before. But if lightning is striking, this is the double, oh, this is the delayed lightning effect. So what's happening here is this can, the lightning can happen. Hold on, is this actually crashing? Son of a devil. Um, was this crash inside that method or was it when it was scheduling it? So 
we're in apply elements, we're in schedule once, we're in schedule and then it kills. I think it's actually when it's scheduling it, which doesn't make any sense. Like what, how could game scene layer schedule once crash? Okay, I, I got a potential fix for this, but let's let's confirm what I was doing before this. So I'm stepping near these sconces. And if I go back and change this back to shot friend, then it ought to hurt them again. I can confirm that with this position pretty easily. There's no enemies on the screen. There we go. So this is just a definitely all the scouts. It's cool. Okay, let's get that checked in and then we'll deal with this other random issue that just popped up. It's like I found a bug, crashy bug, which is a great bug to find. Back to this issue, Let's see if we can reproduce it. I think I just paused the game whenever there was some lightning, and it was pretty easy to get some lightning at this, this area right here. Game scene layer though. I don't know, but let's try uh, scheduling it with a tick, which is way more reliable and can be delayed like. Why would I, why would I be doing that? 
skate looks like on the game scene layers, like. It's not cool. See, now that I've scheduled on the tick, it pauses it, I come back, and it's going to be that second action. There we go. So, just confirm that. If I go back to this mode, it will allow them during the gear menu, which I do not think is a desirable effect at all. I can't see any benefit to doing it that way. The only explanation of it would be if it's a strong See that, how it did that flash? If I come back to this, there shouldn't be any lightning. Yeah. See? That was that last one. So now when we when we do we trigger one lightning, it'll do that double lightning, but it will it will pause while we're during this gear menu. And then I'll come back and we should get those second strikes. That's a pretty safe move to make. Okay, let's move on to the next issue. Oh yeah, fixing the new, okay, so I added some code. Um, which makes it so, the endies can't, like the, endies can't be knocked into the sky. Um, This tricky issue where basically if a if an entity was standing on two different categories, at once, then it could get knocked into the sky quite easily, or onto any other kind of like solid entity like water or walls. Okay, so we need to be here. Um, let's skip part of this arena.
jump right into this fight with the blobs. And it should be fairly, fairly easy to knock them on the sky because Boots. Turn on the rings, so they have more health. Um, so. Sword has. Must have been, I had the chip, I think. That helps. So that does more damage and gives them this, like, to be right in their wave. What is that? Oh. Chase this bug right now is not the gonna be very fruitful, I think. But I could try something. That's in the move system. I could I had this thing where it it only f does this new fix if it has filter friend. Let's try and see if that still messes up. Because then I fix it even, I made this even better by making the 
collision system a little smarter. So maybe that is not necessary anymore. Because this is the only this is the only thing I think that would have allowed that to happen, allowed any entity to get knocked out of the sky. Is not using this new Stuckyid system. So let's try that. Um, I know for sure that entities like the drops in the corner there, without that there, they were getting knocked in, onto the sky by this debug command. So if I just like. I feel like this is safe now. Okay, let's. Uh, but I at least need to play it a little bit more just to confirm that I can't find any issues with it. It was super apparent last time. Whenever I use that that kill all foes debug command um, to hurt all the enemies at once, it would always knock them onto the sky. And now that that's fixed, and it's not going to get any worse, that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to play through this now.
sure this is safe to check in but I'll need to play the whole game just to make sure that's yeah, let's just get that checked in So Mood Wave has some special code to offset enemies. Yeah, this is probably just needs to be 2.5 right here. Some confirm it. I'll fast forward and then slow down time just at the right moment. slight oh but all four of them yeah all four of them are like that so this needs to be two okay it had nothing to do with my sword or what weapons I was using it was just the placement of the foes they were so they've got this set valid false it makes it it makes it so you can place the enemy anywhere he was basically just placing them so they could touch the sky. They were already touching the sky, so they just had and the uh were allowed to be there.
That makes sense. Yay, another bug fixed. This one should be pretty easy. Fixing the elevator disappearing, going back into Ren's arena cave. I think this is just um, has to do with the elevator flux. Go to this is zero zero negative sixty seven. That should be the right area. We should just be able to ride this elevator down, and it will disappear at the bottom. So it's basically just doing, it needs to, this is elevator down, phase elevator down, at the end, it should be, yeah, Cool, it's fixed. So verify it by going back in here. Just Yeah, so all I really wanted to see there was that basically this elevator looks fine at first. Right up. Right back down. 
now anyway. All these are getting a little trickier. Trickier to fix. Start with this one. Okay, so the bug here is that these work fine, except if you stand just above them like that. Just need to be evil. That'd be great. These are just above. Oh. oh, this might not even work anyway. These are supposed to be. Uh, center distance is a little off. Yeah, it's not even working anyway. It's actually relying on one of these up here. It would be center distance x is greater than center distance y. 
and hero center distance x Could be just the reveal distances. Okay, center pause is right at, at W2, H2, but then I thought I saw minus one down here. Um, another place though where this was super let me make sure this works for other areas too especially this area here we can walk on a ton of them So 
working. Cool. Oh, okay, so I guess that must have been it. So it'll be that to be 1.0 instead of 0.75. Should still be good. Like all. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay. Also, if I go all the way up here. Is it still working? Barely touch it. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'm not sure uh, why that. Alright, I'm glad that worked without much change. Um, what else can I verify? Well, is Few more in this area. Oh, there's some right here. Good. Okay, maybe that actually fixes the no, still doesn't fix those. If I put a bomb down a lot. Just because the bombs actually replace a little higher. Um, makes sense. Okay. Is this is minor enough change. Appears to be working nicely. Another one. Nice. It should be relatively simple to add pathfinding to these Viper fires. I'm just going to do that. This is only if uh, we have the ring. Luckily, that's already equipped. Put me in position. So the ring does these, all these modifications and adds different foe patterns. One of them is adding some viper fires. In. What? Oh, he was down in that corner. Oh, he's in the corner there. And then, oh, what? Before he was totally getting stuck. Gosh, maybe I don't even need to do this. Oh, he already got fines. Wait, is this a fire? There, okay, so he gets over there. Yeah, he's totally stuck all the time. Yeah, okay, so let's add some pathfinding to the Viper. It should be, might even just be calling it out. Guess not.
fire though. I don't know, that's exactly how much the other guy says it leaves fire. Oh, okay.
Make sure they still behave in the areas that I'm aware of. Like uh, the arena. Another one. At one five zero on the overworld, if you have the ring. Fine. Let's confirm him one last time here in this area, see if I can somehow get him stuck, maybe. Also, let's review. So we added a pathfinding sequence at mode zero. 
path none, stuck. And these other things all have path nuns. Attack stops the path. Has a stop path. If, you're, if he's invincible and he's, and he's stuck, that's weird. Follow path, whatever. Do a path, spawn some fire. First try, I was able to get him stuck with his stuck path, stop path. If he's invincible, so that means he's getting hurt? Oh, not if invincible. This is like way too long of a delay if you're and maybe a little more of this like almost stuck all the way. That's something that needs to be changed. The reward items.
So we need to confirm that. Okay, so ferret drones don't highlight. I need to break real quick. Ow.
right now we shouldn't like if we go to the ship there should be some items that we haven't found four of them. But see the ship is not showing up as like having items on it in that right there. I think this is just as simple as going like or if the teleport destination is the ship and the position that this item is it, um, dungeon 10 which is K max um, world max non levels and that's it should be 10 what the hell oh So maybe this should be pulled out. Because I think it's triggering that. Or one of these. Before I do anything else, I need to I need to um, take a screenshot.
So we also want to highlight the dungeon entrance on the ship. similar to this one. because like I, I don't think I would have dungeon six complete. Yeah, there's a ton of items here in dungeon six. They come out here. It's not highlighting this area. Okay, so that's this part's not working. Let's see what's up with that. Is this supposed to be plus? How did that not crack? So, this can't be right. Pattern entrance 01 minus level? No, it's supposed to be plus. Yeah. Man, I'm glad I worked on this. I was just pointing to who the hell knows what it was finding. It probably was looking at one particular secret area going, hey, look. I 
I guess I should verify that. Oh, what? Oh, this is seven. Okay, I was like, seven, nine, four, entrance four, cool. Nice. Yeah, now we got entrances lit up. Missing a secret though. There's before. No, there's before. Yeah, we're missing one. Oh, maybe that was just a mistake then? No, we got. Yeah, so six is on, but. That one area just below here is supposed to have something. I think. set a breakpoint right on this item, compass 9. Oh, when the compass 9 isn't required. I don't think it is, actually. Oh, that's right, it doesn't count. Oh, okay, so that was an error before that it was getting listed. Oh, that probably was that bug. Okay, so that was an error. What else do we have that's like missing now? It's all good, all good. Oh, no, that's good. Oh, there's one that's missing right there. So that's a uh, seven. No, wait, no, it's showing up now. Never mind. This is so far so good. Two showing up. Oh yeah, okay, this is just more accurate. Yeah, and I know that this is dungeon seven up here. Okay, good. This is so much better. Great. Okay, so we got dungeon entrances showing correctly now. Um, dungeon showing on the ship correctly. And external teleport desks always showing up. This a little more. And it's just modifications to this function here. Cool. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Oh, map 
9, though. No. Oh, that's one thing. I guess map 9. Um, so actually, this is supposed to be if the teleport desk is equal to the level Z. So that would show level 9's items. Because 9 is the tower with a bunch of different floors, so the pause.z right there would be like the floor number, which is not going to be the right Z for the teleport. Z, this is, this might need to be, I feel like level 9 does have an item that's missing, but I guess we should check that. I think it has a Sarira, which is... counts indirectly. So it, yes! That's the ticket right there. Boom! Let's move to wherever this is. <laughs> Shows us. Yeah, oh, there's a couple items on this screen. On this one, okay. Yeah, I don't see what else there is to do. Um, 
I guess that would work for. We have to check that. We can dun check dungeon six as well. So if we get all the items and. Be oh wait yeah there's there's definitely gonna be some more. Guess let's get all these items here. Save and quit. Go back to the overworld or pretty much anywhere. And it should still be highlighting Dungeon 6 because there's one item left there and it's on the bottom floor, so it's not doing directly there. Boom. It works. Okay, cool. And if I had that item. Six would be complete. What? <laughs> oh, is the goal item? What's the goal item? that already. Boots. Okay, what the heck. Is highlighting level six.
Uh, getting a phone call here. I'm going to take this. Thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you. Catch you next time.